chat or text me. Go first to Jody Demling. Hey Mike, it's Jody Dimling with Cardinal Authority. Can you just kind of go over what your first month has been like and uh, on campus? How have you adju- how have you adjusted and what have the workouts been like for with you guys? Um, my first month has been pretty good. You know, it's a big jump from going from high school to college. Uh, the workouts they've been good. I've been getting adjusted to the weight room, getting used to the workouts on the court. So I'd say my first month just went pretty well, but um, other than that, I've just been really enjoying my teammates, the staff, the coaches, uh, just getting used to being here with all the guys, getting acclimated and stuff. It's been been a good time. Go to Michael and then Matt. Hey, Mike. Michael McCammon, uh, Cardinal Authority. Good to uh, chat with you. Um, you mentioned that it's been a big, big adjustment. Um, with that, how do you view your role as a freshman coming into this team? You know, do you look, look for be, becoming a significant a significant impact or what? What? Do you, how do you visualize your role this year? Um, of course, I I visualize myself having a big impact, having a significant impact. But uh, all that stuff comes with how I do in practice, how I do in the weight room, how I take care of myself. You know what I'm saying? All that, all that stuff will play out on my work. So. If I continue doing what I'm doing, continue impressing the coaches, continue playing well in practice, doing what I'm supposed to do, and uh, taking care of business, I see myself having a good year, having a good impact this year. Matt? Hey, Mike. Uh, Matt McGavick with uh, Sports Illustrated. Uh, you mentioned how the transition to Louisville's been, been going pretty well. Uh, was there a little bit of a, a culture sh- – not really a culture shock per se, but was there a little bit of a transition period once you first arrive on campus, like getting used to a D1 setting as opposed to high school? Uh, Yeah, so you were saying, like, how is it different from high school, like D1 is different from high school? Yeah, how how, how long did it take to, for you to get that, that transition down? Or is that still a work in progress? I say I got it pretty quick, you know what I'm saying? You, you got to get it pretty quick if you want to do well. Um, just like the main thing for me was being on schedule, having a schedule, having a planned out day was different for me. You know, high school, you would just wake up, go to school, uh, maybe get shots up in the morning and go to practice. You'd be done. Um, on the D1 level, you got to plan time where you got to be there, get stretched out before the workout, um, make sure you get something to eat. And after that, after that morning workout, you got another workout that's at a planned time and you got to be ready for that. And then we got stuff outside of uh, just like the gym and stuff like yoga and stuff, just different stuff added to added to the day. You know what I'm saying? That's been different. But um, I say I I grabbed onto it pretty quick and I got acclimated pretty quick. I say I'm doing pretty good with that. Go back to Michael and then to Tim. And Mike, how would you describe what practices are like? We've heard from a number of the guys. That it's been up tempo, quick pace. Um, how would you describe what it's like when you guys are, are practicing and, and working together? Uh, yeah, it's very intense. Uh, just like the other guy says, it's a quick tempo, very fast tempo. We're getting up and down the floor a lot, majority of practice and just playing, you know what I'm saying? Um, I really enjoy it. It's kind of what I'm used to in high school back at Oak Ridge. So I've, I'm pretty used to how we getting up and down and stuff, but it's, it's been very, it's been different. Uh, and something to get used to, but it's been very up tempo, very fast, just a lot of playing, like five on five stuff. Tim? Uh, yes, Mike. Uh, Tim Sullivan with the Courier Journal. I uh, spoke to Coach Mack earlier today, and one of the things he emphasized was your versatility and how he thought you could uh, guard virtually any player except maybe a, a big center. Um, mm-hmm. What do you see as as your positional role on this team? Where are you most comfortable right now, and uh, and, and and what options do you think you provide? Uh, I see myself as a wing guard. You know what I'm saying? I I can guard one through four, and you know I'm pretty versatile on offensive end, so he can move me around anywhere from that one through four position, if need be. And that's how we've been playing, like the one through four on our on our offense is like pretty interchangeable. Everybody can move to different spots and stuff. So I feel like I fit in pretty well with that, with my versatility and on the defensive end, you know, 
again, like I said, I, I feel like I guard one through four. And I'm pretty versatile on that end too. So I feel like I've been doing, doing pretty good with that. And, uh, I fit in pretty well. I think you're listed at six six one ninety five. Uh, is that weight accurate? And uh, do you need uh, to put on a little more to uh, to be competitive? Uh, uh, man, Coach Keller has got me. He's put me to work. I'm six six two fifteen now. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I'll go to Gary and then Jody. Yeah, Gary Graves from the AP. What was your impression of uh, ACC basketball before you got here? I mean, we, what's your uh, familiarity with it, especially growing up in uh, SEC territory? Uh, ACC basketball to me was the best conference in the country for basketball. Uh, you got Duke, North Carolina, Louisville, um, UNC. Yeah, I said North Carolina. Uh, Florida State, Virginia, all those big time schools. So to me, it was the best conference to play in. I'm glad I'm in the conference and I get to play against some of the best uh, teams in the country and the best players in the country. I feel like in this conference, you'll go up against a pro every night. So if you get to prove yourself against those type of players, why not come play in this conference? Yeah. How do you feel like, as a follow up, uh, how do you feel like you have to ta uh, tailor your game toward the ACC style? Um, it's a lot of big athletic guys, guys who can shoot the ball, guys who can drive. So I feel like me being 6'6", six, six, uh, 215, if I shoot the ball pretty well, I'm pretty athletic uh, for my size. I feel like I'll fit well in this uh, conference. But in this conference, you got to be able to uh, shoot, dribble, just be very skilled and athletic as well. There's trees down there as well. Jody and then Matt. Hey, Mike, it's Jody Dimling again. I was going to ask about leadership, but I but you said 195 to 215 in less than a month. What's Coach Kettler been – what's he been feeding you, or is it mostly muscle, and, and, and have you changed your diet at all to, to, to pick up that weight, or is it mostly muscle? Uh, it's, it's been mostly muscle. I came in – I came in at uh, 208, so that 195 was like kind of – that was like a whole weight for me. So I've gained by probably around six, seven pounds. Excuse me. Um, but for me, you know, Ket told me from day one, he said, I got a pretty good body coming in. Uh, I was already lifting before I came in, so I was in pretty good shape. So he just said he just wanted me to tone and uh, add, add more muscle and get stronger. That's what I've been doing. So just listening to him in the weight room and doing what I'm supposed to do. Uh, eating right, of course. That's what I've been up to. And I gained six, seven pounds as I've been here. And as a follow-up, you you uh, you were talking about uh, the team earlier. As a younger guy, what's the leadership like on this team? And I assume Malik is one of those guys who's a leader. What 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 is the leadership like right now as you guys go through these summer workouts? Um, we have multiple leaders. You you got Malik, uh, Jared, um, even like Jalen Jalen Withers, Samuel Williamson, some of the older returning guys, and. Uh, even like guys transferring like Noah Locke, I just try to like take in as much as possible from those guys because they've been there, they've played already. Uh, some of them are seniors and juniors, so they've been through it all. I just try to soak up everything they tell me, listen, and just be a sponge to everything, you know what I'm saying? From them to the coaches, uh, we got a, a whole bunch of leaders on this team. And I feel like that would be important for us in the season. Like just not having one guy, multiple guys who lead and just are important to us for this team. <clears throat> okay. Matt? Hey, Mike, Matt again. Well, we've talked to a few other players already, and, and all of them have said that you, uh, they're around a great group of guys. What's your experience been like around your new teammates, and what is, what's the atmosphere like? Uh, it's great. It's great. From day one, like when we first stepped on campus, we all just gelled as a team. Like it's no one, it's not one odd man out. Um, you know, we do everything together. We go out to eat together. We work out together. No matter what we do, we do it as a team. And um, that's why I like, you know what I'm saying? Being a part of a culture like that and just being a team where everybody gets along and the chemistry is on point. And I, obviously like, transition to the court when we start playing like you'll see that as well everybody trusts one another um 
the chemistry, like just our bond just grows as we play. And as a quick follow up, so far in practice, who stood out to the most to you? Uh, stood out the most to me. Mm, I wouldn't say one person. Um, I feel like we all been doing good, so I wouldn't just like try to point out one person. We all been making our leaps and jumps, and practice and doing good. Back to Tim. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, most of the schools that that uh, were in the hunt for you were SEC and ACC, uh, but I don't see a lot of the Florida schools listed. Um, did they not show as much interest, or were you just eager to get away from home? Uh, they didn't show much interest. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I didn't receive offers from like the biggest schools like Florida and Florida State. Uh, I think the only like power five school, well not power five school, but, like big time school that offered me from Florida was USF. So I don't know what that. I don't know what that was. I don't, yeah, I, I guess they didn't rock with me, <laughs> but. <laughs> You know, we'll see those guys on the schedule in Miami and Florida State. We'll hope to. Thank you. It's good, yeah. Chase, see me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Co uh, as a follow up uh, that's unrelated, Coach Mack was saying you were the last player picked. Hold on one second. Draft. We're going to hold on one second. We'll get him back just a moment. Had a little malfunction over here. We're going to finish him up uh, real quick on uh, on my computer here. So give us just a moment. Okay, Tim, if you want to repeat your question now. Yeah, yeah hey, Mike. Uh, uh, Coach, Coach Mack was, Mack saying, was saying that uh, you were the last the player picked player in the softball, softball draft, draft, but that you had a pretty good attitude bad. about it. Uh, what? Uh, what explains that? Are you uh, not a softball player? Uh, yeah, I'm not a softball player, but I, by a mile, I was not the worst player out there. Like, we had a practice, <laughs> and I'm not going to throw any names out there. You know what? I am going to throw names out there. Noah Lop and JJ Trainer were by far worse than me. But I think it was like a little senior prank or some day was doing like Malik and Jared. They was playing a prank with me. Thought it would be funny to pick me last. Like they picked up Coach. Uh, they picked up Ross. He wasn't even out there. He didn't even come to the practice. And he's never played baseball in his life. Like how do you pick him over me? Like I, I don't understand that. But I guess it was just a little joke. But, you know, I'm going to get my work in. I'm going to get my practice in. And, um, I'll be ready July 19th. It's July 19th, right? July 19th for the uh, game. I'm by far not the worst player, though. Like, some of those dudes can't even hit the ball. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, everybody. I think that'll finish us up for today. Uh, thanks for joining us. Mike, thanks for joining us as well. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you.